hi there, this is uh, Coach John here from Learning Out of the Box and this will be the fourth and last video that I'll be doing for the PSLE 221 questions for our LB children. Yeah, some of you have texted me and you say that you are worried um, if you got the answer correct. Again, I think, um, yes, worrying is normal. Yeah, so um, as you can hear, there's a lot of background noise because my three children are all stuck at home with me. Okay, so uh, just ignore them. Yeah, <laughs> so I have these two big um, mufflers. Okay, so, all right, sorry, just, it's really distracting. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll try my best. Uh, girls, can you please slow down your volume? All right, okay, so let me start. Okay. Uh, oh, well, all right. Okay, so okay, so, okay. I'm gonna draw the the figure, and I want to show you how it is being created. Okay, so first we have a small triangle, more small rectangle. Okay, not enough space. Okay, small, medium, big. All right. All right. Okay, girls, can you load down the bottom, please? MA. Okay. Okay, so let me just start from scratch. So we have three CM here. We have another three and seven, not drawn to the scale. Then we have two, four, and eight. Okay, so sometimes we need to redraw the whole thing to really understand what's going on. Then we have another line that is done here, okay? So, so this is A, this is B, and we have C. Okay, so now, the parameter of the shaded part is 4cm more than the parameter of the unshaded part. Okay, a lot of times, I think we need to find um, what are the common repeated identity versus the difference. And the reason is because if you look at a question like that, example, okay, like that. And then, okay, let me draw a big one like this, with the 4 cm difference, okay, not drawn to scale. Okay, so we have the shaded as well as unshaded, and this is the 4 cm extra. Yeah, so, so a lot of times, I think we got to look at what are in the repeated identity or the common bars and what is jutting out over here. Yeah, then we can narrow down the question to something just like this with this gone. And which is whatever you find here that's equals to 4 cm. Okay, so so let's explore and see whether this works or not. Okay, so Okay, so let's see what works. Okay, so we can see that this diagonal line, yeah, diagonal line, let's call it A, B, C, okay, A, D, yeah. So this is the A, D. Okay, A, D, shared between S and U, and this is the parameter. Okay, so this is, this is check off, Ken. Okay, let's look at what we have learned from the matchstick method, which means that whatever you have here, one, two, three, is the same as this one, two, three. Okay, so we have this one, which is, okay, if I can give you a number, let's call it, uh, Two plus four plus eight. Okay, let's just add it here first. 
because the aim is not to find the answer. The aim is to just find whatever that is in this box and then cancel it off. Yeah. Okay, then next we have a we have let me let me use blue. Okay, we have a this one and two. Okay. Okay, I think let me just erase this away and then make it higher. Okay. So this is A. Okay, so whatever that we have here for the blue one will be something that we want to match over to this, right? And let's see if we can just go over here. So it's this part, this part, this part, let me up to this whole part. Can you see that? Okay. So I suppose this will be the, for the shaded, unshaded, okay, this will be the AB. Yeah, this will be the AB and this will be the three blue lines. Okay. Okay, so can you see that whatever that's remaining is over here and here as well. And one will be CA. And the other part will be, okay, let's call it, um, what should we call it? Let's call it, let's call it A, B, C, D, okay, C, D, E, F. Let's call it E, F. Okay, E, F. And this is E, F. And the reason why I, I split this into half is because E, F, is equals to CA. Can you see that? Just because of the illustration. Okay. So now the thing that you need now will be, sorry, my girl is just next to me. Yeah. So C, okay. So let's see what they want. They want A, B, right? Okay. So, uh, okay. CA is actually for, divided by 2, which is 2 cm. So this part itself is 2 cm. This is 2 cm. Which means that this part is 7 minus 2 is 5. Okay, oh, until here. And we have 3 plus 3. Okay, not drawn to scale again. So the whole thing is your AB. And it's a question mark. Okay, so A, B is 5 plus 3 plus 3, that's 6 cm. Sorry, 11 cm. Okay, so that's the answer for A, B. Okay, so, so the thing here is you got to make whatever the same, the same, and find out the real differences and what components made up to the difference yeah okay okay so now let's let me just erase this away and i do for b okay and again this video is especially for lb children and if you know of anyone who can benefit from this video just share with them i think in times of this covid um we need to really help out each other okay Okay, okay, let's see what I can erase. Okay, I think let's draw everything from, from scratch. Okay, again, I'll just quickly draw. We have one, we have uh, two, we have, okay, we have three. Okay, then this is a shaded part. Okay, so right now I think 
um, I have taught my PSLE readiness course children that, that first of all, we have to understand that this shader area is odd, it's in our odd shape. Yeah, it's like weird. Okay, it's like weird. Yeah. So in school, we have not learned anything about finding the area of these odd shapes. Yeah. Probably they are like, has um, trapeziums. Yeah, but again, children have not learned the formula for finding area of the trapezium in primary school. Yeah, so the formula that I teach them will be in this PSA readiness course is to find odd shapes, you need to use basic shapes. Yeah, basic shapes to find odd shapes. Feel free to share with your friends uh, if they need. So this is something that I always get my basics to memorize and remember. Of course, you must understand. Uh, yeah. And can you see that the basic shapes is made out of three rectangles? Okay, so three rectangles minus away a triangle, which is another basic shape. Yeah. So let's find the three areas of the three rectangles, which is which is two times three plus four times six plus eight times thirteen. Okay, how do I know? This is three, this is six, this is 13 after you add them together. And of course we have two and four and eight, which is given, okay? And we have 134 cm square. Okay, this is, this is the first basic shape. Yeah, so you gotta remember this, not sure if they are taught elsewhere, uh, but I think this really helps the children instead of trying to get them to, to memorize some techniques, yeah, which is out of their comfort zone. Okay, what about a triangle? So area of triangle will be half times this height, right? So this whole base is actually 14 and your height is from part A Okay, your part A is actually 11. Okay, so total minus of uh, two. Yeah, minus this is the two CM from A. Okay, so let's, okay, for recap, for some kids who are already lost, um, the whole thing here is actually two plus three plus seven, which is, 13 cm minus of 2, which is 11. Okay, this is 11 cm. Okay, so remember one of the things that I've taught you is uh, A answer can be used for B. Okay, so you apply. Yeah, you apply from A to B. Do not redo A. Then this is uh, 77 cm square. And this part, I always get children to do cancellation. I split up everything. Yeah, so there's always a learning process for everything. And it's not just trying to solve questions after questions, which I think as a busy parent, we simply have no time. I mean, I'm not sure about you, but um, as much as I try to teach my children mess at home, and I really do, uh, sometimes they are even busier than us. Yeah. So we also want to make sure that uh, we get them to learn the right process and working techniques uh, on top of just solving questions, okay? So the shader area will be, is actually three rectangles minus of one triangle. Yeah, correct. So the shader area is actually one, three, four, minus of 77, and that's 57 cm square. Okay. Again, will you get the same answer? Yes, no, probably. Yeah. For me, I always like children, including my own girls, to 
learn this as well. Okay, this is very important. Yeah, this is a problem problem solving technique rather than just problem sum. Yeah. So when you teach your children, just make sure that they learn the solving technique and be flexible. Yeah, be open to make mistake as well as uh, open, open to explore um, all these different techniques. Yeah, can? All right, so make sure that your kids understand this on top of getting the right answer. All right, I hope that helps. So take care and see you around.